The architecture of New York City's Grand Central Terminal is so iconic that it attracts millions of tourists each year. So can anyone photograph inside? You should have no problem shooting inside Grand Central Terminal unless you want to use a tripod or other professional equipment or your shoot is for commercial purposes. Then you need to obtain a permit through Metro North's Corporate and Public Affairs Department. They handle permits to photograph in the terminal. So here's how you do it. There's a page on their website which specifically addresses photographing in the terminal and provides a contact form to start the process. I've also provided that link in the description below. They're going to need some information from you. A specific date, time and length of shoot. You can only shoot between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. and after 8 p.m. Weekends are more flexible as there are no specific rush hours. Two, they'll need to know the total number of people who will be present with you, if any. Three, they'll want a complete list of the equipment you'll have with you. There are some other things to consider. You do need to give them at least one week notice before you shoot. They specify that all equipment needs to operate off batteries or battery packs that you charge off-site. There are no outlets available for use and generators are not allowed in the building. For small and self-contained shoots, insurance is not required. In my case, where I just wanted to use a tripod, there was no fee. I emailed my request and the next day after a total of four emails, I had a permit to take with me to show if necessary. It did require that I check in at the station master's office upon arrival. They seemed nonplussed and I went about shooting. I kept out of the way of commuters and got the shots I needed. Now what happens if you don't get a permit? Well, another photographer I know tried shooting with a tripod and got approached for his permit. He did get a couple of shots off before leaving. My advice is get the permit. It's free for personal use, it's very little effort, and it ensures you're not turned away. Things can change, so it's best to check their website for any updates. Good luck!